I need to get control of Daniel's life. I can't bear the thought of her snapping again and going too far. Don't start. Emily, listen. Just go to sleep. I just... I came to ask you a small favor. What do I have that you could possibly want, Tom? You know that Andy's missing. Yes, I do. I was just hoping that you would show my family some measure of respect. Oh, you mean like they've showed me over the years? Look, write whatever you want about me. Just leave them out of it. Don't make them defend themselves over articles that you write. It's been very hard on them. We're fighting about declaring Andy legally dead. This is tearing my family apart. I'll consider it. Good. If. What? If you drop your custody suit. Well, I can't do that, Emily. I need reassurances. Of what? That I'm not going to run away with your child? Give me a break, Tom. Then I won't drop the suit. Suit yourself. Only know that since your favored position is war, from now on, everything's fair game. Goodbye, buddy. Good night, Chris. Good night, Tom. <laughs> your daddy's just given me a new brilliant idea for a story. Want to hear it? I don't know. Do I? That's a good question. You might be too close to the subject. No. No. I have to learn to report stories regardless of my personal beliefs, right? You learn fast, kid. Okay. Headline. Hughes family at war. What? The subhead. Prominent Oakdale family battles over son's death. <laughs> in your heart you know that andy is still alive right so so what is it matter what people say but it's a piece of paper declaring andy legally dead blah 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 but the truth is when he walks through the back door of your house what is that piece of paper going to mean then nothing exactly you know what brought me back faith Faith in the love of my daughter. And faith that seeing her again would give me life. Would sustain me. And Kim, it's your faith that's going to bring Andy back to you. If you had any idea how many times a day I imagine him coming through that door. And picking up his little girl. Am I being able to put my arms around him? Right, and you are going to hug him so tight it hurts. I'll never let him go again. Right. So in the face of truth, what do all those legal papers and declarations mean? What do they nothing, even matter? Absolutely nothing. They don't matter at all. Oh. I never thought I would live to see the day. the bottom of my heart. Since you got your husband here to look out after you, I'll go and check out the showroom. See what it is you think you heard. I heard shots. I know what I heard. Someone's after me. Where are you going? Go, hold it. Come back. Come, come back here. Lily, there's nobody there. Get inside. We're safe. Lily, what is going on? I was downstairs in the casino showroom and someone was sh shooting at me. Somebody shot at you? Why? They could still be outside. You've got to protect me. Lily, Lily, you're safe. All right, just try to calm down. I, I, I don't feel safe. Why would I, anybody in Atlantic City I, be after you? I don't know. I just know that I, I just need to, uh, I need to do something. I need to do something. Just, just try to relax, okay? You're in here. It's safe. The door's locked. Um... I'm going to call the police. Yes. Call the police. That's a very good idea. Yeah, I need a local precinct, please. Thank you. Yeah, hi. My name's Holden Snyder, and we're staying at the... Yeah, that's right. It's on the boardwalk. 
Oh, okay. Security already called for us. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Police are on their way over. <sighs> Billy, it's okay. You're safe now. <sighs> Billy, I have some questions and I need some answers. What? Well, anything. Sure. Yeah, okay. First, answer me this. Are you having an affair with Simon Fraser? <laughs> <laughs>